A very good day to us all. Permit me to acknowledge on this very auspicious occasion the presence of the Honorable Chief Justice Ivar Archi, ORTT, and Mrs. Reggie Gazachi, the Honorable Bridget Anissa George, Speaker of the House. I presume that I have with me the Honorable Minister of National Security and Mrs. Hines, <laughs> Senator the Honorable Donna Cox, Minister of Social Development and Family Services, Justice Judith Jones, retired Chairman of the Police Service Commission, Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Erla Archie and Mr. Erla Christopher and Mr. Christopher, Deputy Commissioner of Police Administration, Mr. Ramnarine Samaru and Mr. Samaru, Deputy Commissioner of Police Investigations and Intelligence, Mr. Kurt Simon and Mrs. Simon, Assistant Commissioner of Police, retired Mr. Wellington Virgin, President of the Retirees Association, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, specially invited guests. Ladies and gentlemen of the Police Service Division all. I wear two hats as I address you this morning. Firstly, as Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And secondly, in my capacity as Chairman of the National Security Council. As chairman of the National Security Council, it is my duty to ensure that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is as described by our Commissioner of Police today. I want to let you know that the resolve that has been stated by the Commissioner of Police is a resolve that the Cabinet understands and supports and it comes from an officer who is leading ranks who are equally committed to the safety and security of all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. It doesn't take much. It's commonly said that one bad apple can spoil a barrel. It didn't say that there isn't a barrel of apples. And if one has an assignment to identify the one apple that is spoiling the barrel, that is duty of those who wish to be able to identify the barrel as a place where good apples reside. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in challenging times. Being a parent is challenging, but it always was. Finding a job is challenging, but it always was. Serving your country is challenging, and it always was. But at this time, there are special challenges that require special responses. And as chairman of the National Security Council, I want to give all you ladies and gentlemen who have spent your lives in securing Trinidad and Tobago, supported by your families, putting your lives on the line, night and day, every day, I want to give you the assurance that you have the full support of the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Crime has been with us from the very beginning. For those of us of the Christian faith, we were taught that Cain killed Abel, murder, at the start of the text. But today, many of us grew up in an environment where we were taught that crime doesn't pay, and we genuinely believe that. But we'll be fooling ourselves in 2023 if we do not acknowledge that to a few citizens in this country, a decision has been made that crime could be. And it is from that thought 
that a number of the criminal actions flow. As Prime Minister, I have said on many occasions that firearms come into our country. We don't make them here. And therefore, we should be concerned about the points of entry. That changed last week, or is it this week, when we discover that people in our country are innovative enough to be using the modern technology to generate the manufacture of firearms in Trinidad and Tobago. That's just a new challenge, a very, very insidious one, and a very, very dangerous one. And every time a decision is made to exploit the technology or the weaknesses in our society, it makes the job of the police officers even more difficult. So as we embark, whether at the cabinet, at the National Security Council, or at police headquarters, in responding to those who make decisions to participate willingly or otherwise in criminal conduct, we have to understand that crime fighting is a vocation and it is not for the faint hearted. I am convinced that the people behind me here today and the officers who speak for this administration believe that the fight against criminals will be won and that it is a cause of public service that is worthy of the effort that you have put in with your life's work. You probably would not notice thank you letters. I've been in politics now for 43 years. I keep the thank you cards that I get because I know I can't fill the box. They come few and far between. But I do know the same way the doctors feel, the nurses feel the same way. Because you don't hear of the tens of thousands of instances where they intervene to save lives and reveal pain, relieve pain. But you always hear the grievance of something that wasn't available and something that didn't work. Such is life. Let us, uh, let us all not judge the majority of the efforts by the misconduct of the few. I, as a citizen, as prime minister, I am proud of the efforts that are being made in our security services, the police, the defense force, the coast guard, the SSA and elsewhere. Because I know that the vast majority of these officers are acting in the best interests of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. What we need to do is to create space for our success and minimize the instances of failure. But ladies and gentlemen, failure is a human frailty. We mustn't be daunted. We must take comfort in the fact that those who have been awarded the responsibility to ensure that good prevails over evil, that they will succeed. And your every effort, wherever you are located at any rank in this system, your job is important and we are depending on you. So ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the 61st anniversary of the proud nation of Trinidad and Tobago, let us do so knowing that we are a disciplined people. Maybe not disciplined enough, but we aspire to achieve that level of discipline. Whether it's in the home, in the office, in the business place, or in the institutions, we believe that we can be disciplined, we can tolerate, and we can be productive. Because without that, we will not succeed. We believe that we will succeed. We believe that we are succeeding. It is good news to hear that at least on this occasion, we could mention that we are seeing some light at the end of the tunnel against the criminal element. If the efforts are sustained, if the new methods are utilized, and if we genuinely believe that we have the integrity to confront the criminal element, at the end of the day, the people of Trinidad and Tobago will prevail. And this period of challenge will be a period to be looked back upon when we would say there were times when we were challenged, but indeed we did succeed. Our children 
deserve no less. And our citizens are depending on the police service. As chairman of the National Security Council, whatever the level of criminal conduct is in Trinidad and Tobago, the one thing that you can rest assured is that the government will make available to the police service all reasonable resources and we expect that you will use these tools in the fight against those who would want to win. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to have the assurance that as you go out there, you're not alone. You are, in fact, supported by the vast majority of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Unfortunately, the technology nowadays allows a lot of moral sapping and even demoralizing information to circulate and to dominate. But you need to know that that is what's going on in our societies around the world. And that you know behind that is something better, where good news, successes, are struggling to get ahead of those who would mislead and misdirect. So today, as Prime Minister, I'm called upon to join you and to join the rest of the nation as we acknowledge those who served before, many of whom are present with us here today, and those who are in service. We ask you to raise your glasses and to proudly say on our 61st anniversary, whether you're police or civilian, we are citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, proud in one mission, and we say happy independence. Amen. Cheers Amen. to Trinidad and Tobago. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Thank you.